house Houston Commons. So again, congratulations, and uh, again, congratulations, Councilmember Rodriguez, um, for all that you continue to do in District I and moving this particular item forward. Thank you, and thank you, Mayor, for your due diligence as always about uh, housing Houston's uh, homeless. Thank you. Councilmember Rodriguez. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Councilmember Adams, thank you for the recognition and your support of this item as chair of the Housing and Sustainability Committee. And I want to recognize Pastor Rasmus, who's here with us today. Thank you for all your work, sir, and everything you're doing to empower communities, changing lives, and I'll see you at service soon, too. Great. Thank you. Further discussion? Moving to a vote on the item. Favorite, opposed? Um, item carries. Councilmember Brown voting no. Item 25 is no. Discussion? Favoring, opposed? No. Item carries. Councilmember Brown voting no. Item 26 is an open. Discussion? Favoring, opposed? No. Item carries. Councilmember Brown voting no. Item 28 is an open. Discussion? Favoring, opposed? Item carries. Item 29 is an open. Discussion? Favoring, opposed? Item carries. <laughs> Item 32 is an open. Discussion? Councilman Brown. Thank you, Mayor. Um, this particular um, item about appropriating the $300,000 for investments in lead, lead and mold abatement, I just want to, to thank uh, Director Tipton as well as her staff um, for, you know, continuing looking for ways to improve our communities, you know, with removal of blight in the district as well as with your support. And so, again, I just want to thank uh, those city of Houston employees for all the hard work that they're doing to make it sure that we can improve uh, those neighborhoods in various communities throughout the district. So I will ask my colleagues to please support this particular item uh, on this agenda. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member. It's uh, worth noting that uh, Demolition Day is coming up. It's this Saturday. So we're going to be out in neighborhoods all over Houston. Doing exactly back this part. Yeah. Yeah. Cranking up the back home. Further discussion? Moving to a vote. Favorite, opposed, item carries. Okay. Okay. Item 33 is no. Discussion? Favorite, opposed, no. item carries. Councilmember Brown voting no. Item 34 is an order. Discussion? Favoring, opposed? No. Item carries. Councilman Brown voting no. <coughs> Item 35 is an order. Discussion? Councilman Brown. Thank you, Mayor. Um, again, uh, when it comes to improving the quality of life uh, for Houston, and looking for ways that we can um, improve by tearing down buildings. As you noted on Saturday, is uh, your annual demolition day in the city of Houston by removing the blight. And again, I just want to thank uh, the leadership in the Department of Neighborhoods for what they continue to do um, to improve the quality of life by knocking down these various buildings. As many of you know that there have been many trips made to Austin uh, by my office or myself to go down and talk to various legislators about the Dallas, the Stewart versus Dallas case to make sure that we can, you know, have a fair way of tearing down these buildings. I want to thank uh, State Representative Garnet Coleman for what we continue to do to champion this in Austin. I've spoken before his committee uh, on, on numerous times um, to look at this issue, how it affects Houston. So this is one of the ways that we do that by looking for funding and ways to tear down those buildings. It don't just want to affect District D, but it affect all the neighborhoods that have blight. And again, I know we're picking these various developers to remove these uh, houses. So again, thank you, Mayor, for continuing champion this cause as well as the Department of Neighborhoods that I ask my colleagues again to support this particular item, item number 35. Thank you. I mentioned Demolition Day on Saturday. Demolition Day is just one day, and we use a lot of volunteer labor from the Houston Contractors Association for Demolition Day, but we do demolition year-round for dangerous buildings, and so, again, this contract fuels that. Councilmember Davis. 
Thank you, Mayor. Um, I just urge my colleagues to support this. Um, this means a lot to uh, my district. Um, in the past 16 months, we've been able to, you know, with the mayor and the Department of Goods go and uh, knock down some buildings that need to be taken care of, uh, as well as apartments. So I fully support this. Mayor, also, uh, you mentioned demo day. Um, it's somewhat off the subject, but when we do our lawn, card, lawn cutting contract, is there a way we can get the uh, the lawn um, care um, businesses to do volunteer work like we do the the demo the demolition contract? It, it, let's have a conversation. And do you and the city attorney? Let's have a conversation. Because yeah, it's not made to this legal the other day, and we were talking about the uh, property that just was in limbo. And so this is an opportunity, maybe in the future, to uh, work on that. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor Pertin Gonzalez. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. Uh, yesterday, when you, you stepped out of uh, public session uh, briefly, we uh, we had a, a citizen come up and speak uh, just in support, not about this item, but just speaking in support of the progress that's been made uh, in District B, actually. In demolishing some of the buildings and he thanked the administration, he thanked the, the council member and, and others uh, for their hard work. He said he had seen a lot of progress uh, demolishing these buildings and we know that a lot of times these are nuisances in the community, they're harbor, they harbor crime and rodents and other uh, just uh, uh, unfortunate circumstances. So uh, being able to make progress and really tackle this is very important to many council districts in particular. I know uh, District H has its share as well. So. Uh, very supportive of this. Thank you. Councilor Molas. Thank you, Mayor. Just a couple of questions. Uh, while I'm supporting uh, this <coughs> matter generally, I'm just a little concerned or, or, or trying to understand that what we're doing is creating evergreen contracts for companies to be able to do this work as, as the work comes forward. Is that correct? Correct. And this specific, this specific ordinance doesn't address which properties are being demolished yet. Is that correct? No. Okay. And then I noticed that some of our subcontractors have a plumbing component in that. Can you explain for the public's general edification, if you're demolishing something, why you might need a plumbing component? It's primarily for disconnecting gas lines. Uh, a lot of these properties, <coughs> I mean, the utilities are turned off and so forth, but you have to make sure that everything is safely disconnected before the whole other hits it. That's what I thought. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Further discussion? Moving to a vote. Favoring, opposed, item carries. Item 39 is in order. Discussion? Favoring, opposed, no. item carries. Uh, Council Member Brown voting no. Item 40 is in order. Discussion? Council Member Thank you, Mayor.